good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'd like to thank for, uh, all of you for wearing your mask tonight because there's a, I think there's another outbreak that's getting ready to hit us, so we need to protect ourselves from all that. Uh, <clears throat> can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Ricky, can you lead us in the pledge? I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Borchers? Ms. Carey? Here. Mr. Dishman? Present. Mr. Hall? Mr. Henry? Ms. Hensley? Here. Mr. Landis? Mr. Matzenbacher? Here. Ms. Seip? Here. Mr. Stevens Hotop? Ms. Timmy? And Mr. Wisely? Here. And I should make an announcement. It's reflected on the agenda, but um, the city does have a new city engineer, Adam Leach, so he will be replacing Brian Stevens Hotop uh, from now on, and you'll meet him at the January meeting. Thank you, Marta. Uh-huh. Uh, new business, MPC 08-21A. Yes. Jurisdiction, city council, and county commissioners. Being a public hearing for review of the Delaware, the Muncie Delaware County Comprehensive Plan. And um, I will be providing some introductory background comments and then we do have our consultant team uh, joining us via Zoom, and uh, I will turn it over to them uh, after I go through my preview. So uh, earlier last year, um, I had uh, made arrangements and found uh, some funding to allow us to do a new comprehensive plan, which uh, was 20 years old at that point and definitely needed an update. Uh, and at the Muncie Action Plan Board of Directors meetings, we were talking about how we needed a new Muncie Action Plan uh, for guidance for that map board. And we talked and decided that what we should do is join forces. And so we did. And went through a, an elaborate request for proposal process where we got 16 responses. And we had a selection team that was blessed by the, and authorized by the plan commission to move forward with reviewing and selecting a firm for recommendation. And so we went through the um, 16 responses narrowed it down to three, and we actually ended up having in-person interviews at City Hall uh, toward the end of last year. And uh, it worked out okay because the auditorium is so big that people could spread way out, so it all worked out. And the final selection was a team that consisted of representatives from CZB LLC, and Ingalls Design. And we have with us today um, Pete Lombardi with CZB, who is our project manager. And we also have uh, Thomas Eddington with CZB and Matt Ingalls, who is with Ingalls Design. And I could probably go on uh, a little bit more about the process, but basically, what we, we have uh, arrived at, or well, I should mention that over the course of this last year, we've had a couple of online surveys, we've had several open house meetings um, early on and then in October, uh, and w so there was a lot of input received, and since we opened up this public hearing, we have gotten some additional input that I will go through after we get the main presentation from our consultant team. So I will turn it over to Pete for that. OK, 
Okay, thanks, Marta. Now I'm just going to pull up a, a couple of slides to share. And I, I am uh, pleased to be joined tonight by my colleagues, Thomas uh, Eddington and Matt Ingalls. Um, and also I'd like to, uh, before we get started here, thank the steering committee that's uh, been working with us um, since uh, our first kickoff meeting in February. Uh, Marta mentioned the online surveys and the open houses. Uh, we've also, uh, with, through the uh, steering committee, uh, conducted, I believe, three rounds of kitchen table conversations where we've given steering committee members um, some, some, uh, some content to work through with, with small groups of colleagues, neighbors, uh, friends, um, and that has also uh, fed into uh, this, this whole process. Um, so uh, just a little more background for, for the document that I know you've had a, a chance to, uh, to review uh, for tonight. Um, I, I'll, I'll just call attention to um, what I think are, are kind of the core elements of, of the plan, which uh, uh, are a, a series of components that come together to describe the vision uh, behind Together DM. Um, one of the components um, are, are the values. And uh, as you'll see in the introductory, the introductory part of the plan, um, there's, a, there's a, a series of pages where it describes Delaware Muncie in 2040 um, in the present tense to, to sort of uh, convey what, what it means to have accomplished the vision of Together DM. Um, and when it comes to these values, uh, they're, they're defined uh, uh, in detail in the plan, uh, a community that is entrepreneurial, gritty, inclusive, bold, and thoughtful. Um, and, and those are translated in the plan into a set of planning principles. And the, the values and planning principles together uh, form a decision-making framework uh, that, uh, that this plan commission, that the city council, that the county commission, that others in the community can use uh, to evaluate whether or not a decision that's about to be made uh, is aligning with uh, what's called for in the Together DM plan. So the values are an important component of this vision. Um, another important component of the vision that you'll see in the plan um, is the basic direction um, for the community. And, it's, and it's, it's, it's summed up as get the basics right, um, which is a, a, a shift in, uh, in, in course for the community, a real focus on making sure, for example, that potholes get filled. That was something that, that came across loud and clear in the first online survey. Um, so, so getting the basics right so that the community is in a position um, to get beyond basics and to do uh, the things that it really wants to achieve above and beyond uh, mere basics. That, that's also an important part of the plan because we've been to hear from many in the community who have as high aspirations for the community and want to see um, uh, you know, progress on, on basic everyday things as a way of getting to those higher aspirations. The other component uh, that you'll, you'll, you'll notice that's uh, found throughout the plan is a uh, definition and description of the three uh, broad priorities that are at the heart of the plan. Quality of place, housing conditions and options and opportunities for upward mobility. Um, so those are, those are three uh, important issues uh, that, that again are kind of broadly, uh, broadly defined. You'll, you'll see how they're defined uh, and, and we also identify what they mean within the city of Muncie, within downtown, within neighborhoods, but also what these uh, what these priorities mean um, within the rest of the county, in the incorporated towns and unincorporated areas. Um, and although these are the, the three priorities uh, in Together DM, uh, that doesn't mean that, that those are the only three things that the community should be paying attention to um, over the next few years. Uh, but by focusing on applying those core values and the planning principles that come with them, um, by making sure that you get the basics right, um, especially around these three priority issues, um, we think that this plan uh, will put the community in a position in 2040 where it's stronger, more sustainable, more resilient place uh, that will have a, a number of other side benefits. Uh, a tax base that's actually keeping pace with inflation, uh, which will allow the uh, uh, public sector to, to make a, a wider range of investments than it can now. Um, uh, a community where, where just developed areas such as the city of Muncie, such as the incorporated towns are, are, are very desirable places for households and businesses to locate. And that takes some pressure off of, off of rural land uh, that has been developed in the past few decades. Um, and also a community that by 
applying these values, getting the basics right, and, and advancing these priorities is able to successfully to uh, able to successfully compete for households and businesses with other parts of Indiana and other parts of the wider region. Um, these are these are broader broader achievements that, that could be made possible by uh, by moving towards the vision for a together DM. Um, you'll also note uh, in, the, in the draft plan, and this is something that goes beyond what we presented to you um, back in October when we gave you an update, uh, the, the two strategic investment plans, one for the city of Muncie and one for Delaware County. Um, when we spoke to you back in October, we presented these six place types um, that we were at that time using to, to begin to structure the strategic investment plans. You see the, the three for the city of Muncie on the left, the three for Delaware County on the right. And, uh, and uh, over the course of the past few months, we've worked to build out those strategic investment plans, uh, defining general goals for each of those six place types, um, identifying strategic considerations, um, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to support decision-making around investment and policy-making in each of those place types. And you'll also see some um, action outlines in those strategic investment plans that serve as a starting point for implement, uh, implementing um, uh, different strategies and, and programs uh, by a diverse group of implementation partners. Um, we, we hinted at that back in our October meeting, calling it the Together DM Coalition. And you'll see more language in the plan about um, this coalition concept, which we think will be uh, really the only way to get really solid traction um, on the Together DM vision, especially advancing those three priorities. And so you'll see a little more detail in the, in the plan document about what a coalition could be comprised of in terms of the many different sectors, the many different partners uh, that, that could and, and we think should be able to come together rally around uh, the Together DM vision and be part of a coalition that's well coordinated uh, to make sure that the right partnerships are in place um, to, to advance quality of life or quality of place goals, housing goals, um, upward mobility goals, as well as others that the, that the community might have. And that the track record in the past 10 years of groups like MAP, um, I think uh, are an indication that this is something that the community is definitely ready to do. Um, and so uh, I'll, I'll finish this, this short presentation just by emphasizing that um, in 2022, um, if this plan gets recommended for adoption and gets adopted, um, that uh, the formation of this coalition and the, the building of this coalition will be a very important first step um, down the road uh, to implementation. Um, with that, um, Marta, I'll, I'll hand it back to you. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. And uh, does at this point, are there any questions from the commission? Um, so one just small thing that I had noticed going through and I'd already spoken to Marta about this is in the plan um, on page 65. Um, it, when it's referring to the neighborhoods adjacent to downtown, um, just in the graphic there, it refers to the what should be the South Central neighborhood is the South Park neighborhood. So obviously that just needs fixed to reflect that that is the South Central neighborhood, which is how it reflects in the <laughs> I rest sort of the like way. South Park, but <laughs> I know it's kind of kind of fun, but I mean it's not the neighborhood. So just that was just one thing that's yes. kind of stuck out to me. Getting the basics right, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Um Okay, I might mention that we do have some of the members of the steering committee in the audience with us if you would raise your hand and wave at us that would be very nice <laughs> and uh then i would also um ask and invite uh and or urge uh anyone in the audience to um get up and and you can go to the podium and speak and say whatever you would like to say regarding the plan. Okay, how about another show of hands? <laughs> For those in the audience who believe that this plan uh, is a really great effort and will be a very good guidance document for us as we move forward. How many people believe that? Very good. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> um, one thing uh, I want to mention and uh, is that J.P. Hall was on the steering committee and is a plan commission member, and he was not able to be here uh, this evening, but he did want everyone to know that uh, the plan has his full approval and that we should be very proud of it, and it will assist in guiding and managing good change uh, for the future. I've also received a couple of emails from some other people who have uh, viewed it, uh, and um, uh, one from afar, uh, Suzette Kitzelman, thought it was uh, great and had a couple of suggestions about um, instituting a vacancy tax, which I thought was a really interesting idea. Um, and then the other one, I received an email from Jane Ellery, who said she thought the plan was fabulous, and uh, which was very nice to hear. Um, we have also received some specific uh, cha changes. I really wouldn't call them changes. I would call them more supplements. Um, at, from people who uh, really think that this is a good plan and they would like to see just a few little tweaks to it. And so I've prepared the resolution um, for uh, the plan commission's approval. And in there, I have listed some of these tweaks that have been requested just in the last few days uh, since we are in our public hearing mode, and I will read them into the record. The first is for downtown, uh, in addition to promoting infill along Walnut Street and Main Street, include the importance of infill improvements around the public square county courthouse. And the second is insert data and our highlights dealing with the cradle to career initiative which recognizes the importance of education on improving opportunities for upward mobility and the our consultant team has been working with um, the uh, people that are involved in that initiative and they will be uh, working to make those supplements to the plan. The third is <clears throat> insert a statement to recognize the importance of ecological service provided by natural areas and the importance of protect protecting those areas. The fourth is insert a Muncie action plan excerpt providing background on MAP initiatives and their connection to the three big things Together DM in general and the Muncie Strategic Investment Plan. The fifth is insert a statement dealing with the impact of the pandemic and the need for resilience relating to econom econometrics and quality of life within the city of Muncie. And the last one is uh, that the comprehensive plan and strategic investment plans shall be supplemented with identification of the immediate priorities be accomplished when, within the first two years. Um, and that last one was actually a suggestion from Pete Lombardi, because he said we've got all of these different action steps in the strategic plans where it talks about who does it, why, and uh, how. And he was thinking that what we really need is a when component. Like, these are the most important things, so focus in on these first. So uh, they'll be adding that component. So does anybody have any questions on what I just mentioned in terms of desired supplements to the draft plan that is in front of you? I'm, I was just going to say that on um, point E regarding to um, resilience for the pandemic, that should really be expanded beyond the city of Muncie to also include all of Delaware County because the pandemic's not a city-specific issue. That's a county issue. So I would e. say that should just be within the city of Muncie and Delaware County. For E, did you say? Yeah, for gotcha. E. Gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. Got it. So add and Delaware County. Very good. Is there anything else?
Okay, then what I will explain is that uh, the, these supplements will be incorporated into the plan, and um, as always, they will be displayed on the TogetherDM.com website, which is also linked to the, to the Plan Commission's website. And so it will be, it will be available. Uh, and we will be preparing um, resolutions for city, city Council. And I had previously said that that would be forwarded for their January 3rd meeting and then found out that, no, it will be their January 10th meeting, which will begin at, are you still meeting at 7 o'clock? <laughs> at uh, 7 o'clock in the City Hall Auditorium. And a uh, similar resolution of approval will be forwarded along with the draft plan as supplemented to the county commissioners for their January 3rd, 2022 uh, meeting, which will be in this room at nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, the city Council obviously meets at the City Hall Auditorium. So um, if there is nothing else that anyone would like to ask, talk about, say, um, I would entertain a motion to approve Resolution 2021-08, which is being a resolution of approval for Together DM, the new Muncie Delaware County Comprehensive Plan and Strategic Investment Plans for Muncie and Delaware County. So moved. Second. Okay. Any further questions on the motion? Ms. Carey? Yes. Mr. Uh, Ms. Hensley? Yes. Mr. Matzenbacher? Yes. Ms. Seip? Yes. Mr. Wisely? Yes. And Mr. Dishman? Yes. That is six yes, zero no, with three absent. And that is a approval of the plan and a favorable recommendation for the plan that will be forwarded to the county commissioners and city council as I had stated. Um, so I want, I really want to thank everyone for showing up and uh, I hope that you will also consider showing up for the county commissioners meeting and or the uh, city council meeting in 2022. <laughs> So thank you so much, and thank you to our consultant team for uh, being with us this evening. Yes, excellent job. Thank you. Okay, Pete. I guess uh, I guess we're done with that. The main business of the special meeting. So you can ask for adjournment. Okay, uh, I'll have a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Roll call, please. <clears throat> Ms. Carey? Yes. Mr. Dishman? Yes. Ms. Hensley? Yes. Mr. Matzenbacher? Yes. Ms. Seip? Yes. Mr. Wisely? Yes. Very good. We are adjourned, and I cannot repeat again how much I appreciate everyone being here and all of the work that's been done by our consultant team. Uh, Thank you all.